Good morning, sir, and welcome to another day of the video diary. How's it going? God damn, look at this. I had jack all sleep last night. I tried my best, I did. I tried my best to go to bed early. I'd well, to go to sleep, and I was just lying there and I was like, oh, oh, and I couldn't sleep. It was horrendous, man. I got to sleep eventually, obviously, but yeah, you know. Um, so yeah, I got up this morning knackered because I didn't sleep. I got into bed like really late. It was about four I probably got to sleep. Oh, it's a bit chilly this morning. Good grief. Um, so yeah, got to got to bed about four. So I got up this morning. I was quite tired. Uh, got up, sorted out video upload. So today's, yesterday's video will actually go up on time. Holy shiz was. Um, I've got to carry stood in my description. Got to catch up with that um, when I get in tonight. Uh, when I'm probably having dinner and stuff, I'll write that all up. Um, but otherwise, everything's up and running and laughing. Has some nice cheese and toast. And now I is walking to the work. So I've got my Kindle. I've got a good book. And we're going to be laughing. But otherwise, though, we've got to do some thinking. Because uh, my programming deadline's Friday. And I, the problem I was having, no one's came to my aid on the forums. No one's helped me. And it's all crying. And it's the kind of error. I can't fix that error. I don't know why the hell it's there. It's in their code that they supplied me. Why am I the only one with it? I don't understand. So, God knows what I'm gonna do um, tonight. When I get in, I'm basically just gonna, gonna haul it back here, pizza and chips, get the freaking hell over to EB, camp there with some, <laughs> with some cakey things, um, no, flapjacks or something, um, or cookies, little cookies, maybe cookies. Uh, camp in there and try and figure out what the problem is and why it's appearing. Maybe if I run it through the different system, because I'm remote controlling a desktop. Maybe for some random reason that remote controlling the desktop is different to actually using the desktop. So if I use their computers, maybe it'll run. Probably won't. Maybe not. Else though, I've got to spend all of today figuring out how the hell I'm going to do it. Um, while I'm at work. Problem is Sundays are pretty busy, but yesterday was quite busy, so normally it's it's a bit more quiet. Yesterday was horrendously busy. Actually, I've never been asked so many freaking questions before. Everyone's like, "What is this? Fuck this? Where did you think it'll be? God damn!" Obviously, I didn't say that. To be honest with you, I like it when people ask me stuff. It gives me a change of scenery. Um, especially when people ask interesting things. Well, there's someone came in with like metal metal paint on their face, and they're like, "Do you know? Do you know? Oh, we could get this off." I could take it to the soap, mate, but I don't think that's going to do anything. You probably want, like, terps or something. You don't, probably don't want to be pouring terps on your face. So, that, that was a character and off. But yeah, so it's going to be quite busy and things at work, but I'm going to sit... I'm, well, I'm not going to sit. I'm going to be walking around and I'm going to be thinking about how the hell I can figure out um, a change and everything. I want to be able to figure out how the hell to do my coursework. I think I've got an idea. I've just got to figure out how to, like, implement it in my head go to EB and implement it. And then the only problem is I can't test it. I'm gonna have to wait till like Tuesday till I can talk to the lecturer like, what the hell's going on with my code? Um, and cry for help in person, I think. Um, which is an issue, but hopefully I can find a route around when I get back in, hopefully. But the plan of attack is that this week is gonna be very, very friggin' working. Yesterday I did a lot of shopping based on getting food that would power me through all-nighters and things. And I've got one booked for Tuesday night again. Um, essentially for Friday, I've got to get the programming done and fully coded, ready to go. Friday deadline. Monday, we've got the group coursework deadline, which means I need to write a shit ton of test plans for the group coursework. Uh, Thursday, next week, I've got an essay to hand in. It's not a big essay. It's not a nasty one, really. I know what to write. It's just being able to write it in the way that universities want you to write and referencing and it's all a bit gross really. Uh, got that to go in and then I've also got, what else, I've got to do a presentation, a voice presentation on some friggin thing, I don't friggin know yet, I've decided. Um, all of those for like the next two weeks those deadlines are. So my plan of attack is to work my frigging face off this week, get my group course on by Friday, if not Saturday, do it during the day, and then I want to be able to go shopping early on Saturday, Saturday and then go out Saturday night, because everyone looked like they were having fun last night, and if pain goes out, I'll go out. Hopefully I might be able to get Beth and Ben. Beth and Ben, do you want to come out? I don't know, hopefully. Uh, <laughs> um, 
But yeah, I think it'll be good fun to go out for a change. And then next week I hit the books again. Ah, jolly good fun. And then dotted, luckily half of my work's nighttime work. So um, it's very much do it late at night kind of thing. Um, because during the week, I'm going to push myself to book a piano hour, one piano hour, and then I'm going to be pushing myself to go swimming three times again. I think we're finding time to go Tuesday afternoon, which is good. Uh, and we're also finding time to go... Oh uh, no, I think we're going as like a group of three. I think Jess from the flat's coming, so Jess... So, um, swimming Jess is coming, flat Jess is coming, and I'm going, I think. Um, that's Tuesday. And then we have... I might go Thursday. Piano will be Wednesday. And I'll go again Saturday morning, I think. So, we've got all of that to fit in as well. It's very hectic. But it's doable. All of it will take a back pedal if programming takes over and it's a bit like, ah. But it's all doable. We've just got a poor time in. At the moment, sleep's taking the hit. Sleep is being reduced dramatically um, in order to get everything done. But uh, other things can take hits as well. Um, swimming will take the hit next. Uh, then piano hour. It won't make much of a difference, but piano hour will take a hit too. So what I'm saying is it's doable. It's always doable to free up a weekend. Like this weekend, I relatively haven't done much work at all. Relatively. I tried to, wasn't really in the mood, couldn't really do it. Obviously when I get home from work tonight, I'm gonna to do work. This is the biggest chunk of time I have though. Um, Sunday, Sunday evening, afternoon time. That's the biggest chunk of time I have to actually do work. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit sucky. But it's always possible to clear up weekends. It's always possible to clear out the work. I've got a lot of things I could put on back burners. I could even put the daily vlogs on a back burner. Film them, don't upload them, don't thingy them. I could always do that if I need to. At the moment, the priority, swimming will go probably first, I think. But I've got a friend now. I like Payne. She's all right, I like her. She's like the first friend I've got that, that's like a girl that isn't in the flat. And like my, all my friends at home were all girls, majoritively, apart from the Further Maths crew. I hang better with girls, they're all the nicer, I guess, than boys. Um, not that I don't like Andy and Peter and everyone and Gilbert and everyone, but you know what I mean? So I kind of don't want to, um, I guess loser, I guess. Um, because she's, all, she's interesting, I've got a swimming buddy, I've got to keep hold of a swimming buddy. Swimming buddies don't come around all the time. So. Um, I've got to work at my hardest, that's why I want to go out Saturday night as well, to be honest with you. Um, but I think Saturday night will be fun. But anyway, let's get to the hill. Starting to need to haul ass, so I will talk to you in a bit after work, I guess. Hopefully, I'll leave work with a frigging good idea. Sundays seem to be like a like a genesis. I always get genesis, inspirational shiz was. I get good ideas when I go to work. So, let's think of ideas. But first, break my heart a bit more. Right, while I haven't quite thought of a fully fledged idea how I'm going to do the programming, I've still got the same idea. Um, I've just got to figure out the logistics of how it's going to work. I'm going to EB tonight, I'm going to East Building, go back to the Compsile Lair, and I'm going to stay there for a while. I figured out it's logical that I could pull an all-nighter tonight and it wouldn't really matter, because Monday is a bit of a non-day. Yeah, I've got lectures and work in the evening but it's quite difficult to split it into doing work. So Mondays, usually I don't really do that much work. Um, especially, there isn't like a big block of time I could do like programming in, for example. Um, because you kind of need open-ended time to do programming. Because if you get into it, you can't really stop until it's all done. Otherwise you'll come back to it and you'll be like, ah, oh, shit, this doesn't make sense. So, I'm thinking, if I stay up late tonight and I've got is it raining? It's snowing. We've been forecasted. No! I'm gonna the bus back. Fudge this. Fudge this for a month of Sundays. Good job I brought my wallet, lol. Uh, so yeah, I was thinking, because I've no idea how hard this programming is gonna be, I've no idea how to even start it, let alone how big it's gonna be. Um, I'm gonna go there tonight and I'm gonna stay there late. I may leave at like three or four but I may stay there all night because tomorrow I've got a lecture at 9, finishes at 10 and then I don't have a lecture till 2, so I'm just one in my eye. 
which isn't a big enough chunk to do a considerable amount of programming work. Uh, maybe I could do some group coursework in that time. But otherwise, it's a perfectly sized amount of time, four hours, to get some sleep. Three hours worth of sleep. So I can have a little nap then for three hours, get up, go to another lecture, go to work, come back, go to bed early, have another all night of Tuesday. Hey? Hey, how good does that sound? Or I could just go back at like four, whenever. I'm gonna try and get the server side of this program done tonight, I think. At the very least, unless I get into it and start doing the client as well. But the client shouldn't be that hard to do, he says. So yeah, that's my plans. Stands. I've just bought two massive bottles of lemonade because I thought to myself, well, I'm gonna be there. I bought food. I bought, like the other day, I bought like chocolate and stuff yesterday. I told you that this morning, isn't it? Um, I've come the complete wrong way for the bus. God fucking near me. I don't know how to get there now. Jeez. Um, let's go this way. This way? No, we'll go the carrot straight line. Shut up. Uh, so, I realised I'd bought a load of food to fuel me for all nighters, but then realised I didn't have drinks. I might be able to crib a, like, a cup of tea from Thingy, but otherwise there's a vending machine, but the vending machine's like £1.35 for a small bottle of Coke. Whereas here I've got two, four litres of lemonade, two quid. Well, £1.80, including discount. Yeah, boy. So, just put this in a water bottle and I'm laughing. And I've got drink when I go out Saturday, when I've finished all the work. Yeah, that's the plan, Stans. Yeah, boy. So, I'm excited. I'm gearing myself up. I'm going to go home, going to have me pizza, going to have some chips, and then I'm going to head off out to do some friggin' work. Also, I am very, very close to finishing this book. I'm on like the last 4%, so I'm going to finish my book as well. You need to read that book. That is one hell of a damn good book. The Fault in Our Stars. Man, it was an emotional roller coaster. it was. It was it's a long time since I've ever felt that many. I've never felt that emotional at a friggin' book before. Bloody hell. It was mental. And you may notice I'm back in my cave. We're back in the campsite there. We're hitting some programming. We're fueled with a bottle of um, lemonade, some cookies, and some M&Ms. We're we'll being fueled. We've got our Java book for dummies. We're gonna do some networking, mother And it's gonna be freaking great. So I'm literally just setting everything up now. I've got this laptop running. This is gonna have like um, all reference notes on. This is the thing I'm gonna be programming on, and I've got my second one. If I need it, I can log on to that as well. Man. Take my shoes off, make myself at home. Let's get some programming done. Okay, so the idea is, and we've got a whiteboard, we'll have this white, this great big whiteboard over here. It's a bit of an awkward walk away, but hey, there's work on that one, I don't wanna wipe it off. I'm not a, I'm not a nasty man. Um, okay, so the plan is, we need to program the, the, the server first, because without a server, you can't connect a client to it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a server, right, this is my plan, Stan. Okay then, so we're gonna have the server. The server is gonna be the super class, it's not gonna be the super class, but it's gonna have access to these two here, which is the uh, Dungeon of Doom game, which is including all the game logic and things and all of the rules, blah, blah, blah. and then the map, which has got all the map shears was in it, baby. Um, the map one is the one that's a bit glitchy, the one I've got problems with. I've got to fix a couple of errors in it that I'm not sure how to fix. And I think this means it's gonna be very difficult to test this. So it's gonna be very theory-based, whether I can get the server up and running. I don't know how to test it. Dancers outside, god damn. Can't really say that. Mama Cat's gonna be joining them at some point. Deary me. I can pick a better pen. Finding working, pe working pens in this place is a, it's pretty hard work. But someone wrote blue there. Let's steal this blue pen. Um, so we then have a server, a client, which is on obviously a different computer. The server's hosted by one computer. Um, and the clients all access it from everything. The thing I'm gonna do, because we've got two different clients, we've got, oh, this is a good pen. We have two different types of player available to us. There is the human player, which is controlled by a human and a bot, which is trained by AI bot thing. Um, so if we want to access these two as clients, we basically, thinking about this, we're going to have a superclass called client. We'll call it dot client because that's the way we're rolling with these things now. Um, if we have a dog back called client there, then when we initialize it, every time the player is initialized, dancing is Okay, so this is how the program's gonna run. Um, we're gonna have the server, it's gonna be initialized first and foremost on a computer, because that's the most important thing to go, Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, so, 
That gets initialized first on one computer, game mode is loaded. I think the game map is loaded, I'm not entirely sure. But then basically the server sits there and it listens and it waits. That's what I've got to be programming first of all, is making sure that the server is waiting and listening for people to connect to it. As soon as I get to that stage, I can start work on the client. The client is going to be run whenever the player or the bot is loaded, at which point, it's going to go back to the client set and try and access the server. If it can't access the server, then it needs to error, it needs to shut down. If it can, or it gets some other kind of error, it needs to do basically the same thing. And if it can't, if it can access, it then gives the player control of all of the things. I'm not sure how they're supposed to communicate yet. I've got to figure it out. That's the problem with half of this. It's, it's very much learn as you go. It's not like I need to know. Um, Very distracting. Mama cat, stop moving around out there, goddammit. We got a server, buddy. So, this is good. This is good. I have the computer listening to a port, I think. I don't know, I'm way out of my depth. No idea what the frick I'm doing. I'm just kind of toddling along, singing my song. Failed to, right, okay, so, I think now I need a public void run. And that will then run everything inside of it. Maybe. Party on there. Um, party on there. Party, 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 party. Having a party, party, party. Party, 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 party. Party in an East Building. East Building. No point. Oh, it's gone dark. Shit. Shit, my life. Shit. Shit. Where are we? Mood lighting. Comp side lair. Lighting. We're not in East Building, actually. It's somewhere even more secret. Yeah. No, another place is more secret. You're not allowed to know where that is. That's why I'm not there. You couldn't bring me tea to Lovelace because you don't know where it is. Oh. And you just wanted to see amazing dancing that was going on. That's yeah. the one. Did you, did yeah. you vlog about it by any chance? Maybe. Did you? Tea, tea, yeah, I was tea, trying to talk. I was going through my sh shizwas on the board there. Yeah. And then like over the window to the side just boof, dances. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. This bit, which takes forever to learn. Standard. Standard, standard. And I was in there till bloody court, what's it? Bloody tables. Back. Ah, lol. Not funny. I'm gonna stop doing that. <laughs> see, no one, there could be someone behind there, you wouldn't know. Yes, they just you got a dance with me. The They're loving it. Can you see behind the wall? No, because behind the wall. You can see our flat from here as well. Nothing. Can you? Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can see the kitchens. Oh, sorry, the camera can't. <laughs> sorry, camera. I'm sorry. There we go. Okay, with the camera, you can't. Question. What is that? Sorry, I'm not going to answer because you didn't say question. Um, Jamie, what's this? What's what? This. Charlie? In. In is called Charlie. Why is he saying ball? Because Gilbert was in here once and he was saying ball. Are you sure you're not? Charlie, I'm hungry. Do you want. Do you know me? Do I know you? Frankly, I find it insulting that you haven't replied. Oh, is this? I am Pie Man. Pie is a beautiful thing. Who I'm are you? Person. I like oh pie too, but clearly you do more. Mm. Why? I like it. Oh, is this, is this Andy? Because you said he knows Andy what pie is. that out, yeah. It's 3.14159265358. It doesn't nine, repeat seven, either. Nine, three, two, <laughs> You'll three. notice. Eight four six two six four three three eight three two seven nine five zero two eight eight four one nine seven one six nine six three nine nine three seven five one zero five eight two zero nine seven four nine four four. Throw it onto the wall. That'd be fucking immense. Would it? Oh, these are comfy. Kind of. They're not actually. They're just different. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they're really weird, the back pedals really weird as well, you know the back Why are there two? Because one puts the back back, like the one in your room. Because <laughs> <laughs> they're the one in our rooms don't have, have two, two, do they? No, they don't, they only oh, have no, one. My old one did. Oh. Yeah. But not the new one. It's really weird back there, because it doesn't just lean, it moves the whole thing. So it's really strange. It's like a back massage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dress is going round. 
Round, round, baby, round, right. That got fucked on me. I don't need no man. Got my kicks for free. Who's this there? I don't know. I've only ever seen me and Andy do all nighters. Does Gilbert do it all nighters? Gilbert's good. He does his work. Bitch. And they've gone, bless them. That was a little. Bless your little cotton socks. You brought me. Brought me me muggy tea. Aren't they nice? It's in me flermal flask. Me flermal flask. It's a shame, really. I couldn't get them to bring it at like four or five o'clock in the morning. That'd be perfect. But beggars, choosers, all that jazz. Um, break over. Where are we? What's going on? We are now fully locked in, so we can now not leave. Um, or we can leave, but we can't get back in again. So if we go, we've got to prop open the door and stuff like that. So we're now in here. We're in here at Long Hall. It's 11 o'clock at night. And I've almost got the server to recognize the fact that there's a cl that like, I'm programming the bit that the server's side where it's like, okay, take an input, take an output, dish this out to it, give, take this into it, blah, 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 blah. Um, I'm doing that now trying to figure out what I'm doing. Just trying to get it to a stage where I can test it. That's the hardest bit here, is getting it to a point where you can test it. It's a bloody pain in the face, actually, to be honest with you. Um, and then I'll be able to run it, and hopefully, I think I'm gonna have to run this computer to access this, because that's off the network. It's gotta be on the same network and staff. So, that's what I'm on now. I'm trying to get the input, but it's saying it doesn't want to find the input because it's been silly. So I'm trying to figure out why it's not, and then I'll let you know again. I don't think we will be here all night. I think it's going to be relatively tame all nighter. Um, I think we're going to hit the point where we've got input and output, and then it's just a case of rerouting it back through, and it's just a couple of minutes' work. I think we've done most of the legwork now. I don't understand it. That's another thing, but... <laughs> Understated, <laughs> good job, understated book this. It's freaking amazing, definitely degree level. Okay, you ready for this shiz? Boom, this is ready to launch, this is ready to launch. I'm assuming they're on the same network. I have friggin' no idea at all. They could not be launch. Okay. All oh, the address is already being used. Okay, so if the if the address has already been used, why is it already been used? Is it because I've already like done it once on this computer? No, I don't want you to. Uh, okay, client, client, startup, client without a capital L. Bam, unrecognized host. God damn it. Okay, uh, Eclipse control. It's not going well for me. Let's load up Eclipse, let's have a look what's going on. Let's make sure it closes um, at some point. It's really annoying having two monitors that are, that's not my password. That's not my, that's not my username. Let me back out, <laughs> Jesus. It's really annoying having two, two computer monitors, or three if you count the laptop, with three different keyboards. Because <laughs> I keep typing on one, like why is nothing appearing? God damn it. Oh man, I love dual monitor screens. I've no idea how I can... Now I'm using the port I'm using, I can never use it again. <laughs> I think I've broken it. I think I've broken the freaking university. Okay, it smells. <laughs> it smells real, real bad. Right, okay, so it's... I run it once, and then it set up the server, and it, what it does is it sets up a little socket in the machine, and it's like, I'm just gonna listen to this socket, and it sits there and it listens, and it waits. And it waits for you to, um... Send it something, to send it a message basically, that's how servers work. Servers always just sit and they address and they wait and they go, Oh, is that, is that a message? And then they get the message and they're like, bam, I don't want to do that, and sort something out. Um, now what I did was, I set up a server message at um, a certain specific number, and then all of a sudden, no, all of a sudden, I try and do it, it doesn't work. I try and do the client thing, blah, 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 it doesn't attach for some reason. Um, Try and reassign the server, but it's still there. It's still sat there, running. And I couldn't get it to die. And I logged out of the server system, logged back into it, closed all operations. It's in Linux as well, which makes it even more of a pain. Um, so I was running through it, trying to kill everything. And I couldn't kill it all, at all, it smells. Um, so I've just shut down the computers. The only problem is, shutting down the computers it's not on the computer, it's in some freaking cloud in the bloody university. 
So somewhere in the university computer network system, there is just my little program sat there listening to this port and it'll never die. Oh, I don't think it'll die anyway. I've, I've broken the university. <sighs> Mother of God. How do I stop this program? Ah, it's, I, I can't keep changing the number every time it errors. Friggin' hell. God damn it. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> so I've given up on, um, I've learned my lessons. I'm gonna ignore the fact that this socket's being used somewhere. Don't worry about that, it's not a problem, sure. Someone will pick up on that at some point. Um, but otherwise, I need to press delete, but you'll remind the hand. Um, but otherwise, <laughs> amazing. Um, I fixed it. I fixed the bug where it would just keep on running. Um, now, after a certain amount of time's up, it will just die. Um, anyway, which is pretty, pretty good, I guess. Um, unless you actually connect. I'm not sure it will... I'm not sure whether it will break if it's connect, if it's, if you still connect. I think even if you connect to it, it will still break at some point. Yeah, I know, someone else has logged on. No, I would not like to continue using Uniflow. Let that use Uniflow, I don't care. I don't want to print, okay? <laughs> Networking, okay. Um, I really apologize for how long this video is. <laughs> Jesus. Um, okay, so now that's running. Basically, we're gonna now try and attach ourselves to it to this magical little port thingamajig. Um, we're gonna try and attach ourselves to the server as much as possible. Whatever happens after a minute, it will shut down. Whatever happens. That's not a thing that can change. I can't break another port, please. Okay, so let's try it, shall we? You excited? Okay, you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Did you consider the possibility that this might be something you'd have to plan for? Bam! Java server startup, bam. Listening for a client on port 3697. Java client startup, enter. Unrecognized host, there is an error somewhere with a shiz to the spelling mistakes. Wow, okay. Now I'll wait a minute for this to close. There's an error somewhere apparently, but where? The client has arrived, I've just realised it says holy shit balls on the screen, <laughs> lol. Right, so I'm logging on to the server. <laughs> <laughs> Not that this hasn't taken me nearly three hours to do. Holy shit, I am above, I am out of my depth, mother trucker. Good damn it. Right, okay, so... Back to this. We have the Dodd server, and we have the Dodd client. And it is accessing this. They are now linked. The server has let it in. The server is not doing the next step though. So we need to, we need to try and troubleshoot and see what's going on. As soon as we can get them to talk, we can then start implementing in these and these. Really, you just get them talking. These should take over. We should be laughing from then on. And it looks like the server will wait a minute for the other, this is basically what I've done just to make, I didn't explain, did I? Basically what I've done is I'm not hosting it anymore. I'm not putting it somewhere. I'm not putting it on this computer and accessing it. I'm doing it inside a program, hosting it, and then outside of the program, accessing it. Um, which as long as I don't make them start accessing the same files should be fine. It's a bit naughty because I could corrupt something, but poof, balls to it, I'm pretty safe. I'm pretty secure in the fact that the server's only using server files, never touches the client at all. Um, but I can now test it, mofo. So that's good. Um, let's just terminate the server. Um, right, okay, let's just press play and make sure it's, make sure I haven't just burnt through my server created. Holy shit balls, did that just work, question mark? Security just walked through, well, walked past the window. I was about to go to the loo and then the lights turned on outside. I was like, nope, stay there, Jamie. It's a good job I didn't go earlier. I think he's poked his head through and saw me this time, so hopefully he doesn't set the alarm. I've got the lights blaring, because last time I got told off from the lights to him and he couldn't see in. Okay, so I've got the... They're taking inputs, but they're not doing anything with the inputs. I have no idea what it's doing. Ah. I'm waiting for the light to go out now so I can go to the loo. Then I know it's gone. <laughs> Awkward. Okay, so let's figure out what the frick's going on here. Hey, lights are gone. 
Time to have a wee, then I can concentrate again. Bloody hell. God, what the hell? Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I got the service to talk to each other. Yes! That did not take fucking. Oh my god, that's way longer than it should have done. Been here six hours. I've only just got the servers talking. Jesus Christ. Flipping heck. It's half past two in the morning. Plan of attack, Jamie. You've got the servers talking to each other. Do we go to bed? Is that the hardest bit? The hard part is making them talk. We should go to bed. We should call it a night. In the meantime, my hands are actually bleeding. It's horrendous. Frigging gloves they make you wear at work. Just drain all of the moisture you've ever had in your hands ever in the past decade. Just all of it gone. Jesus Christ. Um, I'm just trying to make this look a bit prettier. And I think it's done, baby. Yeah, baby. Bum, 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 bap. Bum, bum, bap. Um, um, um. I'm listening to War of the Worlds. Right, okay. Let's see if this works. After this, I've figured out. Okay, shut up. I figured out how the. Get off me. I figured out how to make the servers talk to each other, which is the main thing here. That's the problem. That's the thing I didn't know how to do. Okay? So if we've got the two servers talking to each other, here and here, um, my friggin' other hand as well, um, that means. That all I need to do now, I'm getting inputs from the client. The client is giving me inputs as a server. The server then needs to... Now it knows how to do that, which is brilliant. All it needs to do is initialize the game and the map beforehand. Initialize the game and the map before doing all of this crap. Then... Then sets itself up to listen to the client. The client then sends it messages. The server then does whatever the frick it does. I need to go through the code and stuff. I don't think it's worth doing the all-nighter tonight. I'll come back Tuesday night and do it then. I don't think this is impossible anymore. Now I've figured out how to do the input. I, yes, I have no frigging idea how to do it when they're on two different computers. No idea. I'm gonna have to talk to someone about that because I've got jackals frickin' knowing. Um, but I think it's time to go to bed. It's been a long day. And tomorrow is going to be even longer. If I go back to bed now, go, go home now, I'll be in bed by three, getting up at seven. Okay, so if I go to bed at four, which I'm not going to, I'm going to go to bed before then, that means I can get up at eight. No, it's four hours sleep. Go to bed at three, that's six hours sleep. No, that's, okay, it's five hours sleep. See, I'm shutting down, my brain's shutting down. I figured all this out. This has been so mentally friggin' draining. Figuring out how the hell to do this. And it's so bloody simple as well. It's so, it's because it's scary. That's why. That's why it's draining me so much. But I'm over the scary bit now. All I need to do is take the inputs, take the outputs, pump them through algorithms that already exist, feed it back to each other, make them both print shit and it's done. And I can do that Tuesday. Meaning I won't kill myself tomorrow when I'm knackered going to work. Okay. Talk myself out of it. Make sure it still works. And then let's go. Yay! When the server's being run by the computer here in this program, I can run the client here to access it and send messages back and forth. This knows what the messages is. This then returns an output. All I need to do is compute the input. All I, okay then, so here's the to-do list. All I need to do is initialize, shut the fuck. All I need to do is initialize the server so that it has the map, so that it has everything it needs to do, which means I need to read through their code and figure out what I need to do with that. Um, then I need to initialize the client so that it has access to bots and players and that I can load a bot or a player. And then need to compute the input and output, which I think is going to be pretty freaking easy uh, for both of them. Because all of the methods already exist because they've given us the code. I'm justifying going home. 
because that wasn't the plan. Do I just do it? Do I just, I don't know what to do. Because if I can't do this Saturday night, uh, Tuesday night, I'm going to have to devote another all-nighter. And tonight's the best night for it. Let's go. Fuck it. Ugh. Stress. Okay, I'm going to get going. I'm going to go home. And I am going home now. Now that this is done. Stop, just close the server down. Brilliant. Close you down. Close the client down. Good, we've done well. Shouldn't have taken that long, but we've done well. All we need to do is do all that crap I just told you to do. I'm gonna go, catch you later. be able to see it but oh my god little streams of white dust it's just going to oh i wonder if it's gonna stop is it settling it is settling oh god my eyes but no it is about three o'clock in the morning it's not gonna slow that heavy now hopefully it does i'm still stressed i'm gonna go back and i'm not gonna be able to sleep ah catch you later